Welcome to Wealth in Your Sleep. My name is Wes. I help entrepreneurs just like you fast track your success so you don't have to make all the same mistakes that many people do when they first start out. So this is going to be another video added to my get response. And this video is going to be about list segmentation. So if you have not watched any of those other videos in my playlist, I will link that playlist right up above. Go ahead and watch those other videos and then come back and watch this video. So list segmentation, why would you want to do that? So when you join and you subscribe to or you pay for a get response account uh, or any other email marketing platform, you're paying for the amount of subscribers that you have. Okay. Now, if people are not opening your emails and they're not clicking, we call them list squatters. Okay. It's, it's going to affect your deliverability and it's also going to cost your pocket. Okay. So you want to keep people um, or you want to send emails to people that are going to open it and then possibly click your links for whatever product services or opportunities you have. So it's really simple to do. Uh, I'll show you really quick. So from the main menu, you just come over here and you cl click list. Okay, so when this loads, you're just going to select a list that you want to segment. Okay, so here we are uh, at the list that I'm going to segment. Okay, so this is a very small list. I'm just using this for, for um, an example. So to segment the list, you can see over here you have two options, add condition, save as segment. So you're gonna wanna add a condition. Okay, and you can do it one of many ways, but I recommend doing it one of two ways. So when you because when you when a subscriber joins your list now if you've added them from somewhere else or if they've subscribed to your landing page or if you've input them manually every subscriber starts out with a neutral which is three bars engagement score now you can do this by going to your list click show contacts and you'll be able to see that engagement score all the way down in your list and you'll see who's engaged and who's not. So one of two ways is um, creating a segment for people that are engaged or creating a segment of people that are not engaged. So in the past, I have created segments for people that are engaged, um, but I've also done it to where people are not engaged. Now. Where this makes sense is when you're going to be sending out newsletters from the email marketing um, area, okay? And you should be regularly sending out emails to your subscribers. So I recommend uh, minimum twice, twice a week, um, probably maximum once a day. Uh, if, if you're sending out more than once a day, people often get irritated by that and they don't, they don't want to see your emails anymore and they'll unsubscribe, which I mean, it does you a favor because they're not going to move forward. Okay. So you would just come over here to this drop down, and you would select contact details. And then in the next drop down, you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and click engagement score. And then I do, if you're going to do engaged people, you can do is greater than and then you can go, I usually do neutral. So if it's, if you're doing it in engaged, like people are actually opening your emails or and clicking your links, um, more often than not, they will be above neutral, above three bars. So I'll do is greater than three bars and then I'll click apply. Okay. So then it's gonna load. It, it, so it shows me that it found 10 people on my list of 22 people that are engaged, they're higher, you know, they're more than neutral, they're actually engaging with my email um, that I'm sending out. So now you wanna say this as a segment. So you just click save as segment, and then I usually put um, the, the email list, so easy, um, and then I'll put the date, today's, um, or I'll put, um, high engagement, um, 
I'll just high engagement and then I'll put today's date. Today is the six. Okay. And then high easy high engage um, two six twenty two. So I understand what this means. You can actually, you know, write it out so it's so you understand it, but I this means to me easy list, high engagement, two six twenty two. So then I would save. Okay. So the reason I put the date is because I want to keep updating this list. So, so every now and then I won't send emails to only the segmented people. I'll send it to the entire list, give more people in that list the opportunity to bring up their engagement. And if they consistently don't, then I'll create a segment for low engagement. And then I'll just, I won't save that segment. I'll just delete those people right off the list. Okay. And that's easy to do as well. So now, now you've segmented your list. So now you want to send out a broadcast email to your engaged list. Okay. So now you just come over here to email marketing. And then when that loads, you're going to want to click create newsletter. So you definitely want to track the, the statistics for that specific list. So make sure it's loaded. And if it's not, you can select it from the drop down. But this is the, um, the list that we're going to be tracking. And then of course you would fill out, you know, what you want to name this message. I usually put it the subject line. And then I'll put the same in, in the subject line here. Now, if you're doing multiple different um, email marketing campaigns, I would recommend putting um, the list with the subject title. So that way you know that um, you've done that specific campaign to that list. Now you can run the same exact email to different lists. So you can send it out multiple times and just relink it for your different offers. You can absolutely do that. Just make sure you select the right list from the dropdown so it can track it properly. And then you would come over here to recipients. Okay, we're almost done. I, I thank you for staying with me. Um, if you like this video, please like it, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell notification, share it to your friends, and um, it really help help me build up this channel. And if you're interested in getting Get Response, I'll link it down in the description. I am an affiliate for it, so I will receive commissions. I appreciate it. It will help support my channel and my family and keep me putting out more content to help you succeed with GetResponse. So without further ado, let's move forward. So now, now we're at the point where we want to add recipients, but we want higher deliverability um, and more engagement from this next newsletter. Okay. So what we're going to do is instead of list, we're going to come over here to segments. So now you can see my the very last segment I made is at the very top. So I'm going to click that. And as you can see, it's only going to be sending this message to 10 people, which it should. Now, if you created, if you went the other way and you decided to create a segment for low engagement or no engagement, then you would just, instead of clicking the segment there, you would just select the list. And then over here, you would come over here to exclude contacts. And then from this area, you would put, you would select the segment, no engagement. Okay, if that makes any sense. And then you would design your email and then, and then you would send it out. And then you will see that your open rate and your CTOR, which is your click through open rate, which means the percentage of people that opened it click the link. So you want those numbers for both of those. You try to shoot at a minimum of 10% open rate. And then the, the click through open rate, you want it, you know, about 10% or higher as well. That, that usually means, um, that you're doing well with your email marketing. Okay. So that about does it. If you have any questions, please drop a line down below in the, in the comments. I'm going to leave the, the links in the description for get response. Um, uh, if you want any, if there are any suggestions of video content for get response or any other 
video content for my channel, please um, put it down in the description. I'm happy to make new content. It gives helps me um, build up my channel and my subscriber base and um, pushes the algorithms so my channel gets seen more often. So thank you for watching. Please, again, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.